motivation as one quadrant there are four quadrants here and morality as another quadrant so we are looking here at the quadrant where there is motivation but no morality a person has a drive to do things but that person doesn't have any boundaries over there so Duryodhan will fall over here okay so now if you look at these four categories if a person has no motivation and no morality this, this will be the left bottom quadrant so what would that person be okay there is no morality they may do wrong things but they are too lazy to do any wrong things also they don't do wrong things not because they think it is wrong but because it requires too much trouble <laughs> so, so we could say relatively these people are less harmful they could be harmful but they just don't have much motivation to do anything so they have no motivation and no morality that's a, that's a, that's a person who, if something is easily available for them they may do terrible things mm -hmm. so somebody is angry and it, some some they get access to they are angry with someone and somehow they get access to their Facebook account or something like that you know they will just post something nasty over there uh, to maybe defame that person to embarrass this person but if they don't have okay I have to crack their Facebook ID and I have to do this and forget it it's too much trouble so generally these people are not very harmful they may have ill intention but they are not harmful now on the other hand somebody has morality but no motivation then what happens is they are relatively they may be good but they are ineffective because they won't do anything wrong so however they, although they want anything wrong they don't have the zeal to push to do anything so these are good people but they are good and literally low drive people now such people often in today's world they become what is called as keyboard warriors keyboard warriors that means they will comment on social media oh this is terrible they will comment on social media this is bad this is bad this is bad but you tell do something hey forget it that's too much trouble so often again these people if a person has moral, morality but low or no motivation again they are not very effective the so in one sense motivation is essential so in term, by motivation I am referring not what drives you but the level of the driving force everybody has some level of driving force so high motivation means they are highly driven to do something morality means that they they function within boundaries so now if you consider the contrast high motivation and high morality this is where the Pandavas fall now if you see Arjuna he is known as Gudakesha Gudakesha what does the word mean does anyone know conqueror of sleep now there are two ways to understand how he got this name one is that he got this name because he was so devoted to Krishna that this devotion enabled him to conquer the mode of ignorance like which is characterized by sleep the another understanding is that when he was studying archery he would work so hard that, that during the day he would learn the lessons from his teacher and at late into the night he would keep practicing those lessons and that's how he also conquered sleep so clearly Arjuna had a high level of motivation but at the same time Arjuna also had a high sense of morality and that is why even after all the Kauravas had done so many wrong things but right before the Kurukshetra war Arjuna started thinking 
is this the right thing to do should we be fighting or should we not be fighting now some people think that arjuna just got an attack of nerves you know he just became scared well that's a over simplification why because in the first chapter arjuna gives reasons why he will not fight and not once does he mention fear of his own death he is not afraid of dying he is afraid that by fighting he might be doing the wrong thing so there is fear but the fear is not of death the fear is more of a moral fear it's not a physical fear i might die it's a moral fear that what i might what i what i do might be wrong and if it's wrong it can have terrible consequences now similarly yudhishthir of course yudhishthir had a very high moral sense and he also had motivation that's how he motivation in sense of again a drive that's how he worked hard to perform the rajasu yagna and the pandavas they were given a barren wilderness and they just sent into the jungle when they were given the khandav prastha and the pandavas converted into indra prastha so they clearly had motivation and morality so when krishna talks about daivi and asuri prakriti so the divine and demoniac nature now all four categories can fall in different all, all these four people in the four quadrants they can fall in these two categories but the people who really matter are the people with some motivation people who have not much motivation they can't make much difference either positively or negatively Hmm. so what is best is people with high motivation and high morality and people with what that they are very powerful on the other hand people with high motivation and low morality are they are especially dangerous